Okay, so, um, anybody ever figure out in the United States of 50 postage stamps, uh, New York being one of them, Washington, D.C. will give you another one, and there's really no importance of any other land mass, um, except some Confederates that are having problems with their postage stamp in Texas, but, um, so... On the eastern seaboard, New York and Washington, D.C. being the only uh, awake and alive posts that we ever created uh, in immortal territory. Uh, I try to keep things fucking simple. Um, being that I run all of you anyway. Um, at this point, you've all run each other into the fucking ground. All right. So, by this version of 2020, um, where I'm in a test tube trying to break the fucking glass to get the fuck out of here, uh, anybody ever in, like, J. Edgar Hoover building? I think he was a vacuum cleaner. Um, did you guys ever figure out why it's called a bureau? A B-U-R-E-A-U? Hey, baby, hey, baby. Right, well, it's spelled appropriately. Um, and when I had to explain time without a calculator and without a finger to draw anything, I say, okay, so where do you put your clothes? What do you call it in America? J. Edgar Hoover building that just opened and a couple of nice white guys that I got to train in order to go get my dad since white supremacy is not going to be like a, a big thing. And he's no like, you know, Rockefeller when he's born and I got to like combat the fucking hoochie in the fucking crown that she stole and hope that some technical guy isn't going to fucking close my penalty box and really fuck up time and space. All right, J. Edgar Hoover building in somewhere in Marvel Comic DC. You tell me, buddy. Where do you put your fucking clothes at night? Or where does your wife put her, your clothes when she's done doing the laundry? Since they still stay at home, some of them, when you have nice cushy jobs in a bureau during the day, and your wife is at home doing your clothes, putting them away for you in a bureau, and your kids as well. When the world still fucking mm, kind of worked. Before the future comes. Got it. Right, you call it a bureau, don't you? Right, so my husband goes to the bureau during the day for his white day job. And his white wife stays home in a skirt, no less. Last fucking woman alive that's going to be able to wear a skirt during the fucking day and stay home with the children in America. Yeah, okay, got that. So the guy goes to the bureau. The woman puts the clothes in the bureau. Life's still working somewhat. Then why the fuck is the immortal cat from New York the same one that opened the white bureau you go to fucking work at every fucking day? And there's a field office in New York. Why is her dad in New York walking around not sure what the fuck to do with his life? I'm just fucking curious. All areas stupid. How did your, how'd you get the approval, I'm just curious, to open a white bureau in J. Edgar Hoover, the vacuum of uh, Washington, D.C., being the Marvel Comics and the Marvel Comic District of maybe it's going to be Captain America, Batman, and uh, we can fucking squash Robin. Nobody needs a fucking little nosy piece of shit running up after you at your, like, ass level sniffing your fucking crotch while you're just trying to have a conversation between Captain America and Batman about Catwoman in a New York. Uh, anybody, anybody, anybody that works in the business? I'm just curious. Uh, did you get my memos? Right, okay, so here's how we explain it at, like, smart people, space agency territory for you that might have waken up, like, just thinking that every woman should be and work with their husbands, um, because you're all equal, 
and you all need paychecks, even though it's the same one fucking dollar, it's now just split between the two of you, and then there's nobody manning the kids at home, so nobody's raising anything smart, just everybody's getting dumber, because the woman had to have half the dollar the guy wanted, he's like, I'll work for the dollar, you stay home, I'll take care of you, woman's like, no, 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 you give me half the dollar, I'm gonna do half the work, and nobody stay at home. And nobody's raising the kids. Strangers that we don't know that aren't family have no idea where they came from, no idea of their education level. We're going to have them raise our kids and we're both going to work and half and half the one dollar and we're both going to just hate, fuck, hate each other. Oh, J. Edgar Hoover, that sounds like such a better idea than my plan. I mean, I said just fucking take away the women's rights, make them fucking stay home like they should be, and you be the fucking guy with the cock, and you keep like your, yeah, I'm the man of the house, and then the wife's like, oh my god, he takes care of me, oh my god, it's so sexy. <gasps> what the fuck happened to that? Like, that was like really working for me when I was watching in Immortal Territory going, oh, that's not so bad. Uh, I woke up 1978 and it was like, what the fuck happened to America? Why do I have to go to college? Why do I have to go to work? Where the fuck's the guy with the penis that's gonna like take care of me for the rest of my fucking life? Why do I have a father that can't even do that? Uh, anybody? You know I'm in charge of extinction whether you guys live or die. Why would you put me here and tell me I have to work, go to college, pay taxes, and then fucking raise the kids all by myself and figure it all fucking out. While you all do whatever the fuck you want. You hate your wives. They all want whatever you have. I mean, like, what the fuck is wrong with humans? Seriously. J. Edgar Hoover, this is your vacuum and last chance call to get my fucking generation right. So, how do you tell time? Well, let's see. Elizabeth is going to be Elizabethan, got crowned in and took God's spot in a kingdom in the language of English to confuse everybody, even though she's not bloodline of Christ. And that's for sure, because I said so, and I'm the last fucking woman that was ever going to be born to this earth. And I decide whether you guys have a next renewal or not. I'm the last birth certificate, period. Got it? Great. So, because we call it toilet paper where I come from, because we think that you have devolved yourself so low on the understanding standpoint, and you've, like, really made my fucking life a living hell as a goddess, and you're so fucking stupid that you're fighting me over women's rights and the right to be unhappily married with your husband and to have to go to work because some other bitch wanted to fucking go to work. So now I have to be forced to go to work. Some other cunt thought she wanted to go to college and learn how to read and write. Why? I don't fucking know. If you have the perfect husband, what the fuck do you need to read and write for, stupid? So now I'm living the new American way I fucking was adamantly against. For this reason, because unlike the rest of the shitbags, I get to choose what's up ahead. And I try to warn so it doesn't get painted the wrong fucking way. So that's why this is the last fucking call. You had to treat me, you had to, you were required to pick me up out of America so you could keep whatever the fuck you created and take care of me elsewhere. So this way, the other people around the world may have a future if we're able to work something out. So here I am in America Painted It This Way, held me hostage. I'm still hostage against my fucking will. Am I being held in America? Forced and raped to marry two guys that I did not want and that have their children, which I did not want, and then they fucking made me work, made me go to school, and made me fucking wait around on everybody else to break the fucking glass so I can get the fuck out of here. Because I'm not giving anything to humans. Got it? Great. So Elizabeth took my fucking Christ kingdom, told the whole world it was all hers. We opened penalty box so I could prove to you and show you. 
she's sitting there for all of until she fucking dies. And then I'm going to fucking take her fucking, I'm going to, honestly, I'm going to take her fucking head and I'm going to slowly decapitate it. And then I'm going to sit there like this with her fucking hair and go, yeah, last fucking cunt to be born to take my shit. Whatever. Civil where I'm from. But anyway, um, so here we are, and um, I'm a dresser. I'm the doctor of the ER from the Extra Science Special Program uh, that comes to be born and legitimized with legs and some toilet paper on Earth in the year 1978. Last woman ever be born to the Earth. Ever. So Elizabeth stole my parents' seat in a United Kingdom that is united with nothing because it's lying, stealing, and cheating its way to a crown in a blood relation that's none to my own, and I'm the only immortal, along with Nicklaus. And Elizabeth is neither my bloodline or his, so it doesn't count. In fact, actually, it counts worse. It's going to be a higher death count. That's going to be a requirement, but whatever. At, at this point, it's 100% humans are dead. So... Um, I was trying to teach the guy at J. Edgar Hoover's Academy, like, when they were gentlemen, and I was the only lady, um, that the, uh, if I, if you're at your bureau, your white bureau day job, and I'm the daughter of some schm schmuck or schmo in New York that needs help, and the time you're calling your bureau where you put your clothes a bureau and that's also your job. Great. So I hired you and opened a bureau in the United States to teach and help my fucking human when it comes mortal. Cause I'm a goddess and you idiots on this side don't learn that in school. There's nobody helping my people in New York because I've got a fucking fake crown telling everybody that she's a queen of a kingdom that belongs to me and my family. So, when I'm born, it no longer is a bureau. It's called a dresser. D-R-E-S-S-E-R. -S -S -E because now the dress, my dress, is in America in the E-R because everybody's lost their shit. Nobody did what I needed. The guy in the bureau took the fucking money, the pension, everything that was established for my father to be picked up and brought into the field office and given a job. A government job. Whatever. At least he'd be properly fucking educated as to what the fuck we're here for. But instead, you were like, no, 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 I'll keep the white job, I'll keep the white money, I'll keep the white whatever, and then, oh my god, it was civil rights in New York, and everybody's black and Hispanic, and there's no white guys anymore in the field office. Yeah, well, what a fucking surprise, shitbags. You let Robin, the little fucking guy at your crotch level, up your fucking ass, and he ran around you and opened his own shop. Uh, in anarchist territory because you didn't fucking do anything with the white Christ dad. Stupid. Great. So, in the time of the Bureau, I told you that this is a vacuum between Bureau and when it, the word turns to dresser. I'm an E.T. and telling you that's the word I gave you for your job and for where you put your clothes so you can link where your home and your and your head goes down on a pillow at night, linguistically, and where you go to work and what that picture looks like. Because when I come as a dresser, I'm not going to be able to wear a dress. I'm going to have to wear, fucking wear pants. They're going to force me to go to work by myself and earn my own money and survive on just my paycheck. They're going to sell me to two fucking guys that can't hold a job, have no pension, have no security whatsoever. They're going to rape me and make me have their fucking kids, which they've done twice, no less. And then what? Now I just fucking sit around and wait for the fucking test tube to be broken so I can fucking be released in the Hoover vacuum out of here? Well done, humans. You are just so fucking good at your job of fucking up. It's like unfucking believable. Really, it is. Um, you know the game we gave the children? It was called you put your hands over your eyes, you turn your head away, and you go, 
Red light, green light, one, two, three, and then you turn around, and you see how far they moved. And then you do it again. Red light, green light, one, two, three, and then you look, and you see where they moved. And their job is to start on the same line, but try to get to you and tag you before you turn around and you catch them. Then they gotta freeze. Uh, that's like managing Earth. Uh, if you want to think of Pakistan as the green flag, and you want to think of Turkey as the red flag, and me telling them ahead of time that my eyes might be closed momentarily as they're immortal, and looking away when I am born mortal in my dresser, uh, with my pants on, since they're gonna try to steal me, rape me, beat me over the fucking head, and hurt me, which is gonna come down on everybody around the world because there's a false idol, a non-immortal inside of the fucking London castle. So, everybody, when I was born in 1978, ran straight for me while I had my eyes closed because now I'm fucking in the duck blind. I mean, you're shooting, you're hunting ducks, you're sitting in the blind. Great. Well, that's what New York looks like in 1978 when I get when I come awake and alive as the immortal and as the last birth certificate of a human woman and star being on this planet. There's nothing after me, and I get the last and final say. And so far, 100% of humans have failed in successfully taking care of me, my parents, and getting me to Nicholas and avoiding me being raped, beaten and treated like a slave in America in the year 1978. So 100% of you succeeded at beating, raping, and stealing from the last goddess you will ever know in all of immortality.